Greetings, everyone. This is Marvin McQueen II coming to you with our midday messages, and we're doing our theme of breaking bad habits. Let's go over now to 2 Corinthians chapter number four. I'm going to read two verses, verse 17 and verse 18. Here's what it says. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Verse 18 says, so we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Today, I want to encourage you with the thought of consider your tomorrow. That's right. Consider your tomorrow. What you do today has a consequence for your tomorrow. While it seems like a great idea to eat that half gallon of chocolate ice cream or butter pecan or Neapolitan ice cream. Uh, but the wisdom part is like, what are my implications for tomorrow? How am I going to feel? If physical discomfort comes from a habit, focus on the discomfort that will come tomorrow instead of the temporary pleasure of indulging in something today. Our behaviors hold natural consequences, of course, but it also holds some spiritual consequences as well. And it is by God's grace that he allows us to feel the weight of our sins. Consider whether coveting expensive things will fill you up or will it deplete you? What are you buying it for? Why are you holding on to something? Who are you trying to impress? Consider the things that go into your body, that go into your mind, uh, and, this, and see how it makes you feel in the near future. Please understand that natural consequences can be a strong deterrent uh, from your tomorrow. So I don't know who you are. I don't know what you have going on. It's not about other people, but you make sure you deal with yourself with your own habits. Please consider your tomorrow when you're breaking your habits. All right. Be blessed.